Hi my babies, it's B. Simone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you want to see how I go from this natural bare face look to this beautiful Barbie girl glam dolled up look, continue to watch because me and my makeup artist are going to give you a full step by step tutorial. Mwah. Braiding my hair for the week. You mm. finna show y'all the whole look. Going from whole natural look. What the stars go through. Right. Nobody sees this part. I don't see this part. They just see the glam part. And they're like, oh, I wanna be like that. Like, Bitch, yeah. do you know Man. what you gotta do to look like that? Yeah. 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 You gotta get some cornrows. Right. Yeah. You gotta get some cornrows. You don't just throw the wig on. You have to maintain the wig. Maintain your hair. Ooh. So sorry. 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 I'm just kidding, I'm being a little direct. I really am tender though, I'm not gonna lie. It actually feels kind of good though when you get down to the bottom. Right. But girl, that little nape, not the nape, but the temple. Mm. You got beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Well, you braid real good. Thank you. At this point, I'm gonna pop that wig off and wear these prison braids. <laughs> <laughs> so she braided me up for the wig. Yes. Look at these lengths. I got lips. Look at that. She's gonna do my makeup, and then I'm gonna throw on my pink frontal, which I've been wearing lately on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. And um, up under that, you guys, when you do wigs, you don't have to do microscopic, tiny, tiny braids. Right. You can literally, it depends on how thick your hair is too, though, right? Right. If your hair is super thick, the smaller Small the braids. braids. Exactly. So my hair is pretty thick, but it's 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 a little soft right now. It, it was straight, soft. so we're probably gonna do about six. Okay. <laughs> You know what kills me because girls don't know I do hair. Right, right. That kills me when I'm like, oh, your hair is so beautiful. What kind of hair is that? It's mine. Right. Girl. Girl. So Just be honest. They're not. You don't have hair to do school. Like, <laughs> mine are breaking off too. <laughs> and you guys, the benefit of wigs too, when you come home, you could take that wig off. Yes. You have these braids under there. You can grease them down. Don't put too much grease because you don't want it to sit, seep through the lace exactly. and get on the hair. But, you know, you have this protective style. Protective style. Protective style. No heat on your real hair. I love your hair. Thank you. Good, girl. So we got our braids in. How many braids did you do? One, two, three, four, five. Five, five braids. Five simple braids. Now we're going to put on a stocking cap. The stocking cap matches my skin tone. You're just going to... Put it on. Yeah. Do you tuck these on? Yeah, there? I can just pull those up. Like this? Mm -hmm. oh, there we go. So simple. It's definitely not, you know, perfect. That's so much cleaner. It's just cooking, right? Just I just pull the braids up, put the cap on, and put the wig on. This wig was made by a friend of mine. She's a hairstylist. I'm a hairstylist too, guys, but I don't make wigs. They're just I just don't do it. So she put a band on it so the band is tight for me. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Tuck that. Okay, you guys, so I got my wig on. It's not perfect, we'll do that later. I can brush the baby hairs later and fix the, all the edges on the frontal, but I'll do that after I get my makeup done so she can really get the blendage on the edges. I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail to get this wig off of my face so that she can do my makeup. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, uh, first off, the average makeup artist takes about an hour and a half to do makeup. It only takes me 30 minutes because I'm more educated on what products that I'm using and you have to look at your client and customize everything with visual. So she has pink hair, yes. Do you want pink eyebrows? <laughs> Girl, you... Some people want it, some people don't. You have to ask the client. Right. Do you want pink eyebrows? I don't. Not okay. Today. So we're just going <laughs> to do a neutral brown. Now, if you assume, and you give this woman pink eyebrows, and <laughs> she look in the mirror at the end, and she's like, what the fuck? That's your fault. Do this. So it's on you. It's You're on you. These are the three brushes that I'm going to use. It's a 168. It's an angle brush from MAC. Then I'm using a 212. That's from MAC as well. And then I'm using a 217. These brushes are gonna give me a perfect lin brow. So you do eyebrows first? Yes, I do eyebrows okay. first, and then I work way, way down to eyes and then face. The okay. reason I do that is because fallout is really excessive when it comes to glitter. Mm -hmm. And I wanna do a pink glitter today to match this hair. Yes! So, I'm gonna be a Barbie, y'all. Yes, and of course she has beautiful eyebrows already, so I'm using Dip Down from MAC. Um, some other 
companies have gel brow sets. So you can go to Anastasia Beverly Hills, you can go to Sigma Cosmetics, you can go to Benefit Cosmetics. All of these companies have a very similar product. So don't be scared um, to try different companies. But anything that's a gel, that's a light brown, you can use. So basically for our eyebrow, what I'm doing is I'm working my way from the back and then I'm working my way to the front. Okay, we don't want a strong brow. What I'm gonna add is just a little bit of an arch at the top of her brow. And you just wanna use that to feather it in. So as you can see, her eyebrow looks real. It's still filled in and she has a little bit of an arch right here that I added. But all of your clients are not gonna be as blessed as this beautiful lady with thick, full brows. Just know that. You know. Just know that. <laughs> Next product I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use her concealer to clean up under her brow. So I'm gonna use NC42 Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC. And this is what it looks like. So that's NC42 from MAC. Um, I'm using a shade lighter than her skin tone because I want it to be more of a highlight under her brow. So I'm not gonna drench it down. Just very lightly, just clean up any mistakes you have made or just to make it look clean and neat. And she's naturally beautiful. Oh, thank so you. So you don't need a whole bunch of stuff. Less is more. Unless, unless you're like me, I like to just cake it on. And that's how I do when I do my own makeup. I'm like, right. I want to look so fake. Right. I want people to know I'm beat. Right, I want to look like a filter. Right. So you want to get up under that arch and just make sure you have that nice little tail at the end and then drag that product down. Please drag the product down. That's the brush? That's the fluffy brush. Okay. And you just want to kind of buff the highlight in so your eyebrows look like they just got freshly waxed. So next I'm going to use a primer. I always use an eyeshadow primer. So this is from MAC Cosmetics as well. I worked there for three years, so I'm a little married to some of their products. You like them a lot? I love them a lot, and I know how it works, and I know their personality traits. Duh. So it helps me work faster. So makeup artists out there, or soon-to-be makeup artists, use products that you are educated on so you can work faster with them. So I'm using Painterly from MAC, and this is a cream base. This is going to keep her eyeshadow on all day. Now we're gonna work on her eyeshadow. Okay, so I always use three eyeshadows for the eyes. So the first one is always brown script, depending on the colors that I'm using. And I'm just gonna go inside of her crease. Okay, I could use a pink color, but I wanna just use a kind of neutral color. So this is called brown script. This is a very beautiful transitional color for any type of makeup look. And when I say any, I mean any. So next I'm gonna use like a darker purple. So purple and pink are complementary colors. So we're gonna use them together. So now I'm gonna take this dark purple on the outside and just kind of buff it in to her outer corners. Have you ever had a sandwich eyeshadow? <laughs> Fish. I thought you just made a sandwich in general. <laughs> Have you ever had a sandwich? Um, yeah, I've okay. had a sandwich, yeah. but not an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna give okay. that to you too. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that dark purple on the outsides. And this is a really quick, it's actually easier than the typical light to dark because you're just fading on the outside. And if you look in the mirror, see how it's starting to show? You oh, can see how it's cool. a little sandwich already, but the inside is gonna be a glitter. Oh, dope. And, you see and I'm just gonna add some black in there. So I hope you guys try this look. If you wanna try this look, just make sure you recreate it and tag the be some. So now, as you can see, she has a little black right there, which helped it look three-dimensional on top of the purple. And these eyeshadows are from MAC Cosmetics. Um, you can get these colors from other companies if you want. But you know, they have a lot of stuff that are very similar. So look at that. Now I'm gonna use this pink color from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. This is a this is from the Flame and Love palette. Pink right here. And I'm just gonna take a 239 brush, a flat brush, and this color matches her hair perfectly. Does it? Yes. And I'm just gonna place it right in the center. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna take this glitter from MAC Cosmetics and it's called Reflects Transparent Pink. And then I'm just gonna place that right on top of that center. And then I'm just gonna kinda 
blend these colors together because if you leave it like that, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take that purple that I used. And then the key to makeup is to always make sure the colors are blending together. Colors should not look extremely separate from each other. So just make sure you're blending everything together. So now I'm doing her eyeliner. And I'm gonna give her a wing, of course. Cause I want her to fly away. Right. To the pink fairy land. <laughs> fly away with cupcakes and fairies. <laughs> At this point. Alright. But um, she has a great eye shape for a winged eyeliner, so you gotta make sure you get it together. I wish you guys could see, but. Maybe we'll do one later. A winged eyeliner right. tutorial. Because right. you have to be very, very still. I always start with the tail first and then I always look at the other side before I continue mm. just to make sure I'm going in the right direction. So. For her eyeliner in the waterline, I'm gonna use white. We have teared up by now. We did really good. Oh yeah. So now the trick after you do everything with the eyes, you go back with a makeup wipe to clean up up under the eye. And then what I do last. Once everything is set and everything is done with the face, I go back at the end and I add the product at the bottom, but you'll see that later. Oh, okay, dope. So now I'm gonna double her lashes. Lash on top, but this one's gonna be more wispy because I wanna give her more of a 3D look. So you're doubling the lashes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give you more of a wispy look. I'm not putting mascara on the false lashes. I'm only blending her lashes in with the false lashes. What kind of skin do you have? Oily, dry, normal. It gets oily. Okay. I like, and also I like to look matte. So the difference between dewy and matte is that dewy will not last all day and matte will. So this is a product that I created. It's called a primer. And this is gonna keep your makeup on all day because what it does, it absorbs all of your oils. So, if you guys want to get this primer, go ahead and email me. Looks at vanity at Ooh, it smells so good. And it's very refreshing, and it's also going to tighten your skin because it's absorbing all of the oils. And I know you guys are going to be scared because it looks really crazy, but you just put your foundation on over it. So you let it set. So this is good for people who want their makeup to last all day. Guys, we're back. We had to change the lighting. <laughs> so we're doing NC45 foundation and also NC42. So this is NC42, look up for me. And I'm using a dense brush from Sigma Cosmetics. It's comparable to a Kabuki brush. So I'm gonna go in patting motions. If you are an individual that don't do makeup on others, you can use a beauty blender. So this is only in the center of her face. This is MC42 from MAC Cosmetics. So why is this only in the center? Well, you know how we like to do the highlight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, so this is going to warm me up for it. So okay, I don't okay. have to highlight so, so much. much. So this is giving me a little bit of time. Instead of putting a dark color all over and then highlighting, mm -hmm. I just use two different colors mm -hmm. to just give me a little bit more. Um, time so I don't have to rush and all that good stuff. So that's only in the center of the face, okay? Now we're gonna do NC45 on the outside of the face. And I'm using the same brush so it's not so dark and it's not so light so the colors are gonna mix together. Even on my hand, it just looks a little red so you have to kind of mix colors to go with each client. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. The outer part of the face should be darker. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back over this NC45 with a little bit of NC42, just so it's not so red. 
So now um, she doesn't have puffiness under her eyes, but we just want to conceal just so our, our under eye looks good all day. For I have a little puffiness, but it's not too mm -hmm. bad. No? No? I'm just making sure, just so you can make your makeup last all day. That's it. Because, you know, makeup is about layering. Right, right. And if you don't layer, guess what? It's going to come off. Come right off. Yeah, I've right. tried thin right. layers that don't last. So, I feel like it looks so beautiful. You're not even done yet. Already. We did a little bit of NC45. Some people consider that color correcting. I just do it just to make sure everything is warm. So you do that under the eye before you highlight? Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to highlight. So I have NC42 here under the eyes. And I'm going to use the same brush it's a tapered f35 brush from sigma cosmetics you guys see that this is a little light under her eyes so just to give her a little bit more life i got a little bit of nc35 just to give her a little bit more highlight and i'm just gonna mix that in with the nc42 so the highlight is up to your discretion and it's up to your clients how it blends and how it settles because all products oxidize and the definition of oxidizing is basically it gets darker when it's up against the skin. So you have to use your own discretion. And now being that I had that NC35 and the NC42, I know I'm giving y'all numbers, y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but the lighter one and then the one lighter than it, it's still a little bit residue left on that brush. So I don't have to add as much on this side because I still have product left from the previous yeah. side. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I'm cutting out the nostril area because in photos, you want her nose to look as if she went to Dr. Miami. Right. But she just went to Lynn Austin. Cover those nostril areas. Now, just so she doesn't look insane with the just highlight under her eyes, like she's blessed. She doesn't even have lines under her eyes yet. So if you don't slay, you better slay in your younger <laughs> years because those right. lines come, okay? So now we're going to do the Cupid's bow, which is right here. Okay, and the whole purpose of highlighting in the center of the face is because it's like a light is shining in the center of the face. And then we're also gonna do her chin. We're gonna do a little on her forehead. Now, the nose is different. Nose contouring, you have to be very, 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 very strategic with your product placement because one wrong move and your nose will look bigger. It will look crooked, won't it? It will look crooked, it will look bigger, it just won't go. So I'm gonna take this 212 brush and I'm gonna go right in the center. And I'm just gonna dab. Look at my dab. Right there. <laughs> Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. So as you guys can see, when you do the line in the center of the nose, it should be as small as possible. Turn this way just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It should be as small as possible. It should be dark on the outside and light on the inside. Right. So now I'm going to set under her eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm not baking. I'm just setting. So I'm just gonna pat this all over. Now what's the difference between baking and setting? Baking, you will literally be white. Mm. Setting, I just want it to place it there. Sink in and blend. Sink in and blend, and just so it lasts all day, and then that's it. And I love the Laura Mercier translucent powder because it just acts as if it's an HD sleeve going over your face, so it hides any imperfections that you may have. Not that this beauty has any, but well, still. <laughs> it looks so good. So that's the highlight. Okay, so now we're gonna bring back color to her face because we have our highlight. So now we're gonna contour. So I'm gonna, I have this contour palette that I created from MAC Cosmetics and I have Shade Stir for her skin tone. So turn this way so they can see. And I'm gonna have her smile. So most people would suck in I'm gonna have her smile because this is to create dimension as if she has more cheekbones than what she really has. That's what we all want. Um, I could leave a Walmart right now. Okay. I'm, I'm like 20 minutes from your house though, so see. Okay. Oh, you look bomb. I have to be at the um at the studio at six though. Tutorial right now, like we're literally recording. I'm sitting in front of the ring lights. Oh, you're recording right now. Forgot you said that. Yeah. So text me because she has to, she's talking to the camera. 
So now I'm using Shade Stir from MAC. You have beautiful cheekbones. This Thank is you. So the nose is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. This is a 212, well, a 217 brush. And I'm basically just gonna go on the outside of her nose where I already created a trace with the concealer and the foundation and the powder. And I'm just basically gonna blend that nose contour. And now I'm gonna clean up her contour just to make it look a little sharp. So you see when you smile, the contour goes along with the cheeks. Okay. This is Sun Power from MAC, so this is a really pretty blush on this beautiful lady. So just to add a little pink, and I'm gonna take Pink Swoon. So what I did was I have a bronzer, and now I have a little pink. Smile for me. And I'm just gonna mix those two in to give her a little bit of a pink smile and a little bit of a bronze. The product that I'm going to use is from Artist Couture, and this one is called Gold Digger. This one has a little gold, but it also has a little bit of a light shimmer. So you wanna place it there, get it where you want it. And then you go back and you blend it. Smile. And you only wanna put it at the top of the cheek. I'm also gonna go back with Gold Deposit from MAC. Keep its bow, chin, and also the cheek area. Take a smaller brush and go in the center of the nose. Now, just to make sure everything is settling in like it's supposed to, you always have to spray a little Fix Plus. But before that, you wanna always make sure you bronze the outside of your client's face. So I'm gonna take a little sun power. And I love to look bronzy with right. my makeup. Me I like to look tan. I to the Dominicana. Yes. And then I'm gonna take dark mineralized powder just to kind of even it up. This is life. If your boyfriend breaks up with you, mm -hmm. spray it with a fix plus. <laughs> you got a flat tire, spray it with a fix plus. <laughs> so this is gonna make everything come together. And just tell your client to just close in a relaxed way. There you go. So you spray a lot of the fix plus. Mm -hmm. I don't near spray nearly enough. Nobody does. I love it. You think the more it helps settle it into your skin and it makes it look more like fun. it meshes all together. Yes and it keeps it from looking like powdery residue. We're gonna go up under her eyes with a 212 brush and we're gonna take that dark purple and also, actually we're gonna start with the black first and then we're gonna clean it up to blend it with a dark purple. So look up all the way to the ceiling. And what you're doing is you're actually going under the lash line. I feel like a rock star Barbie. Right. right. <laughs> Look up for me. And I'm gonna take that purple that we used and I'm just gonna basically kind of buff it down. All right guys, so we're gonna do this lip and she is complete. So we're gonna use Spice Lip Liner from MAC. Can you a big smile? Stretch. So that is Spice from MAC. And then Smile for me and this is Snob from MAC. And there you have it. I feel so beautiful. I feel like a black Barbie. I feel so girly. I love this look. If you like this video and you like this look, please give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you redo this look, make sure you tag me. Mwah.
Yes, she killed my look. I, this is her first time doing my makeup. This yes. is actually our first time meeting yes. in person. Yes. In real life, she did my makeup. I love it so much. She looks so fabulous. See, if, if you guys like this video and you want us to do more talk time, I don't know what we're gonna call it, but talk time, makeup application, chit chat, whatever. Everything. We, we talk, she teaches you um, how to do the makeup. We're talking throughout. Give this video a thumbs up. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will put all of her information in the description box. She um, lives in Orlando. Yes. She's always in Atlanta. She travels. So please hit her up. Hit her up on Instagram. Ah, I love my Barbie makeup. It looks so, so good. Thank Barbie you. Barbie Inspired Tutorial. Bye. <laughs>